Last year, the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources moved its classification of the Yangtze sturgeon from critically endangered to extinct in the wild. According to the agency's assessment, the wild Yangtze sturgeon was a casualty of overfishing in the 1970s, as well as water pollution. But not all hope is lost. A wild breeding experiment in a section of the Yangtze River in southwest China's Sichuan province produced positive results. It's the first time we did this experiment in the wild based on many inside ones we've done since 2016. We select this place as it's part of the Yangtze River and its hydrological condition like temperature is good. We select 10 male and 10 female mature sturgeons to put them in the net cages in the river and kept monitoring them. We were lucky to see them lay eggs from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on March 21st. We then collected the eggs and moved them to the near part of the river because there was some occasional oil contamination there. All eggs were hatched, and now there are at least 200 sturgeon babies alive. Hatching sturgeon eggs in the wild heavily depends on environmental factors, including the speed of the water and the stream as well as temperature not to mention the significant risks posed by aquatic predators. The sturgeon has been protected in captivity since 1976. Now the experiment proves the Yangtze sturgeons can breed in the wild. But why in the past decades have scientists not find or detect eggs or small fry in the wild, even though more than 200,000 adult sturgeon or fry were released we spoke to Zhou Liang, who's been studying and leading protection efforts of this species for 30 years. Working with Fisheries Institute of Sichuan Academy of Agricultural Sciences. We did release sturgeon for breeding, but the completely mature ones were less than 100, and some of them may not get used to wild conditions and died. The rest of the surviving sturgeon were then separated into hundreds of kilometers in China, and it's hard for them to meet each other to breed. On the other hand, there are some eggs in the wild, but we can't detect them due to predators. There are about 500 Yangtze sturgeon here in the eight fish pounds. The largest weighs around 15 kilograms. The staff here feed them every day with folder containing fish oil, and a sturgeon here can consume nearly 15 kilograms every day. Joe and his institute partners hope to promote the Yangtze sturgeon population to a normal level in the wild by 2030, despite marking and tracking challenges. They are seeking to conduct more research and expand experiments to gain more data and experience to help the species breed in the wild. Zheng Song, CGTN, Sichuan Province.